Hey everyone, Matt Saletti here on behalf of ADSR, taking a look at the Machine 2.6.5 update. This is a point-point release, so it's not the most earth-shattering news. However, it is very important because it introduces this idea of the ideas view. And basically this sets the stage for future development of the Machine platform, uh, including things like linear sequencing and uh, real-time audio recording and performance recording and these kind of things. So it is very important and let's take a look at what has changed and what you need to know. So I started this idea for a song highly inspired by this amazing retro synthesizer called Blue Wave created by a gentleman named James Peck. It's available in the Reactor user library for free. Uh, it was very inspiring to me. <music> Kind of had an 80s vibe so next thing you know i create kind of the the skeleton of this track very quickly in one scene as many people do inside a machine so i have my main scene done right there and now i have to worry about creating an arrangement out of it so as you can see i started to do some work creating some intros you know two different kind of intros that'll blend into the different parts And there you have it, the way we're used to writing inside a machine. But what happens if you don't want to worry about creating an arrangement right away and you want to actually just kind of throw a bunch of ideas together? Well, now you have this concept of the ideas view. And to enable that, hold down shift and hit scene on your machine hardware and you get to ideas view. Uh, coincidentally, you can also hit navigate and jump between the arranger view or the ideas view or from your keyboard, Command-1 or Command-2 to jump back and forth between them. So inside the Ideas view, instantly you can see it looks more like the Machine Jam layout, which I find to be a superior way of actually visualizing all my patterns inside a machine. Helps me create faster and work with it like that. So now you can see I can access all these different parts and it shows you which patterns are being played back per scene. So now, important to know that inside of the Ideas view, you create your scenes, okay? Just a mixture of patterns. When I bounce out into the Arranger view, these are now called sections. So you can see section here. So we can create a new section, and then I can choose my scenes from the drop-down list, whether I want to make it my main, or I was throwing a bunch of ideas together for a bridge. I can now kind of insert this into my arrangement and see how I like it. And coincidentally, I can kind of just come in here and work with different variations. So whether you own a jam or not, you can still kind of access from the machine controller. So what I really like about this is it's easier for me to throw a bunch of ideas together and see what works. You know, uh, I didn't necessarily want to think about writing an outro right away, but it just kind of happened. So, you know, I can come in and actually access different parts like an outro I started. Right, that seems heavily inspired by like uh, Power Station, you know, Robert Palmer and the Duran Duran fellas classic stuff. So essentially that's really what you need to know. And again, this sets the stage for further development where you create scenes quickly, different patterns, and then worry about arranging them later. If you don't like this new workflow, you can just continue to work inside of the arrangement view without any difference, any kind of disruption to what you're already familiar with. So it's a great addition and uh, it's exciting to see where the future is going to take us. So. Thanks for watching.